following a developing story from Oakland just moments after takeoff, an Alaskan airliner bound for Seattle immediately turned back to the airport for an emergency landing. The reason is that pilots say the plane hit a bird. Crown Force Mike Pelton has the latest now from Oakland International. Mike, good morning. Well, good morning, Marty. I spoke with an Alaska Air representative who confirms that a replacement plane took all those passengers to Seattle where they arrived at 2.05 this morning, more than five hours after their scheduled arrival time as their initial flight struck a bird shortly after takeoff from Oakland International. Now, here's the flight path for Alaska Flight 349. It circled back to the airport around 7 o'clock last evening. It took off at 6.45. Officials say the front of the plane then hit a bird, and an airline representative says the pilot returned to Oakland out of an abundance of caution. Video from our helicopter partnership with ABC 7 News shows the plane here on the tarmac. Officials say the 144 passengers and six crew members on board were not injured. One passenger, though, was active on Twitter during the incident and said the crew reported the pilot's flight panel went dark after the strike, but not the first officers. This morning, an Alaska Air representative could not confirm that, but said any necessary repairs to the plane would be made here at Oakland International. They did release a short statement to us just within the past hour. It reads in part, quote, pilots are well trained for situations like this and followed standard operating procedures. Now, as for passengers arriving here at Oakland International this morning, a lot of them were surprised to hear about the bird strike last night. But Marty, in speaking with many passengers, their overwhelming response was, hey, sometimes that's just part of air travel. Hmm. Marty. Okay. Glad to know they're taking it in stride. Thanks a lot. That's Mike Pelton reporting live from Oakland International.